I'm working on this today. There's a remo removable faceplate, just so you know, that's one of those like that. Uh, I'm making this to go over there, and I'm going to somehow attach it to the plastic dash piece that goes there. If I can get it back off. It's made of aluminum. It's a diamond plate. Aluminum diamond plate. And it looks cool. Compared to a big open spot. Let's try to set this off. Off of there. I'm going to I'm gonna have to finish edges off. It's going to like turn this on and off. Easy, you know, I'm hard to tell the boss. So I just gotta finish that up. And that line right there is what I gotta cut. Put it in a plastic piece. It's finished. You ain't to worry if it fits over that. It's gonna look a little bit better. That glove box, I might actually just buy a new glove box door. But, I don't know about that. Just this where the latch goes. Yeah, gotta figure out a way to get the latch fixed. So I got that out to paint. Gotta get some money to get the paint. This is free. I already got this. Got a big sheet inside. So I'm gonna fix it. Back in the shop here and uh I'll show you what tools I use to, what I use pliers to spin the melted metal out. These pliers are left in the rain, which pissed me off. They're brand new. So now they're all shitty and done up. Here's a Dremel. Um, and a grinder. This is a 5 inch grinder. I have the cutoff blade and everything for it. So I cut all that out with a cutoff blade. The only thing I messed up is that right there. That's just about it. I'm going to take the drum and I'm going to clean that out. Get it look a little bit better. And, uh, get all this melted metal off of there. That's what I use the pliers for. Stuff like that. And I'll give you another update after this. On the same video, but not actually another video and I just gotta cut that off of the grinder down there. And that's it. I use this to clamp it down as a sawhorse. Like that while I'm working on it. And that's just about it. There's that big sheet. I'm saying like that. Alright now I'll pause the video for a sec. Gasket sealer and well, it's basically the gasket sealer right there too. And it's clear RTV silicone and silver and gasket maker and stuff. I don't think it's no it's not dry yet, but I'm wanting to put it in already. Looks pretty nice. Better than just a big hole in there. You got the head right there over it. Here's the electrical tape because I went to redo the thing right there because I don't have clips to go over it. So let's try and do this real quick. Alright, now I got it all in. I mean, it does stick out because it's not like one of them. No. The ones that you buy at Walmart and shit. I mean, the ones you buy at Walmart come out anyway. It lines a fucking it's just so much up, so it really doesn't fucking matter. And I gotta get some bondo in here. 
the speakers and the stock little things. I gotta get some screws to screw it down though. I have to get that done. I feel like it already has sections on it, but I'm sure that hooks up. Is that long to have any time? Comes by airplane. I'm gonna use it for the iPod. Which I'll have hooked up right now. It's good for the truck. If you wanna have like music while you're grabbing it. And that's just about it for this part. I'm about to get some paint in here. Unplug that and that. Get some paper or some tape. Tape that over. Tape over that. I'm just going to paint it like that. Then I'll take a little of this Bondo and fix it up. I'm going to paint it all black. I'm going to paint the red black. That'll be Red, metallic red. This all will be black. That's the same. And this will be a grant to me so well. If I get enough money. I'm going to have it started up today, so I might do a cold start real quick. So, this is how I'm going to sit in my small rag. That's it. So a quick cold start. Get a little mirror up there. Search right up. That's a warm already. Look at that shit. That's some shit. It's already warm. I feel the pink coming from it. I mean, the temperature gauge doesn't work though. It stays there all the time. But every now and then it'll kick on. It's a lower pressure. See, just moving up a little. can make our shit a little dry a little, but it's in there, it ain't coming out, I mean it'll slide out a little, but it ain't gonna hurt it, it's just temporary anyway, and it ain't like it's gonna be there forever, got one chrome, one black, got the old black one in here, I'll have another chrome one, I'm gonna get another one soon, I just found the chrome one just laying around, I just pull up the top to the desk, Cut this out and uh, put it in. I guess where some pedals to put there. Get the clutch address to where you can get it down because I got long legs. I'm fucking 6'2 and it's not very comfortable for me. 